Hey welcome, to another exciting After Effects tutorial, support my channel, so I can make more awesome tutorials for you. Let's start. So, today we are going to learn, pre-compose, green screen and track motion, so let's begin with new project. Create new composition, I am keeping these default setting and hit OK. Now select text and type any text you want. Now select your text layer and click on pre-compose, else go to layer and select pre-compose. Change your pre-compose name if you want, and hit OK. Now you can see here text layer name has changed to pre-compose, let's double click on that, it will open a new window named pre-compose, we will talk this about later, let's focus on our first composition, here we are going to duplicate our text many times, to duplicate press ctrl plus D, it will duplicate your text as much you want, now hit ctrl plus A, it will select all text layers, now make it to 3D layer, and hit P. It will open position. Now change its last value to 1, 2, 3, and so on. Once you have completed this, go to Layer, New and select Camera. I'll keep it to 24 millimeters. And hit OK. In left corner you can see this symbol. Click on that, and press C. It will give some option to choose from. We will select Orbit Camera Tool. Now left click and move it. So here we have a similar like 3D text. Let's add some light, to do that, go to layer, new, and choose light, I'll keep color to white, press OK. Here, we have a attractive light on our text. So, let's discuss about pre-compose, if I want to change this text, it will become very time consuming task, as we have many layers, to avoid that we use pre-compose. It will update your text, click on pre-compose tab, and rename this text to effects. Now you can see the changes in main composition takes place smoothly, keeping all effects same, so that's the advantage of making text or your logo to pre-compose, so there will no need to do same animation individually to every text, just pre-compose it and change it whenever you want. Now, let's start next topic, green screen. Go to File, New, and select New Project. Create new composition, and now import your green screen footage. Also import your background to place on. Drag your clip to create new composition. Now drag your background to Timeline. Now click on Effects and Presets. And search for Key Light. And drag it to Composition or Layer itself, as we have green screen, so change this color by using this Color Picker tool. You can play with these options to enhance your clip. So this is how key light works for green screen. Now, our next topic is tracking, so go to File, New, and select New Project. Create new composition, and import your file. And drag it to create new composition, 
So here we have our footage, now go to window and enable your tracker, it will create a new tracker window on right side, now go to animation and select track motion, here a track motion point is generated, now go to tracker window and enable this rotation, and scale, this will make your text or image, to scale and rotation as your track motion do, so here we have two points, now we have to position these tracker points to track point, so let's move our tracker points. Here we have two little boxes, the inside box, is to track our object, and second box will search the area region, and it detects frames by frame. Here we lost our tracker point, if this happened, just select, and drag it back to the tracker point. As our object is small, and we can attract only small area, so we'll make our both boxes small. Now click on Analyze Forward, now as you can see our track points are stuck to that selected object, here our left side tracker is being lost because our track object has disappeared from footage, so we'll stop analyze. You can again reposition your track point, if you want, and start again analyze forward. In our footage the tracking object is disappearing again and again, but I hope you get the picture, how to do track motion. Now add a new text. Go to the starting frame our footage. Let's make our text to 3D layer, and adjust its properties if required. Here I'll just adjust its angle. Now go to layer, new and select null object. It is just a place to hold your layer. It is just used for reference. So we will gonna apply all this data to null object. Let's go to edit target. We will select tracking data to our null object. And hit apply. And also select hex and y dimension. Now parent your text layer to our null object. Now you can see as the text is being tracked as by rotation, scale and position. In short the behavior that our track motion did, it's following the same, so this is no as 2D tracking. So that's it for now, if this tutorial helped you, press the like button, also don't forget to subscribe, as I'll bring more awesome tutorials for you. See you in next tutorial, stay tuned.